All right, back working on the old bronc. I got the uh, body mount brackets. Went ahead and um, put the bolt through the body mount and snugged it. Didn't get crazy tight with it, but just snugged it where it wouldn't move. And then I clamped, I reached up under the tub. As you can see, I've got a clamp down there that's uh, holding it all in place right now. That's what, some marks that are going to come off there, but um, I've done it on both sides. You can see, I've got the body mount bolt in there. So I'm going to mark these out. I've triple checked, that, you know, the, the left or right using the hood and my gaps, you know, along the hood defender gaps, um, just to make sure that this is perfect left to right, and it is. So I'm going to mark out where this falls on this um, fender, inner tub drill a few holes through the inner tub so I can when I take it all back out I can I'll know where to weld this bracket on. So one good thing I noticed when I, when I uh, located these they do line up to this brace on both sides. There's a brace here and you can see that that lines up with it. Um, so when I plug weld, I'll plug weld through that brace to give it a, the extra strength that it needs as opposed to just single thickness. And that's the way the original was. I still have my original uh, core out, and I, out in the yard there and I can see where the, the spot welds were on the original and they did go through that brace. So Just kind of double checking, making sure everything's in the right spot. And um, looking pretty good so I think I'm gonna just trace this out drill some uh, plug weld size holes and then when I get it all blown back apart I can uh, um, weld that in without being all bent up under the wheel tub there I can weld it in from a more comfortable position and probably do a better job of welding and the, the reason I'm doing it that way is I'll, I'm going to prime and raptor line the inside of this with it off. See there's my clamp that's holding it all together there. Because it would be a royal pain to spray around my shock hoops here. So I want to get all the welding done. I've already welded uh, my brace on back there. And then I'll have this welding done, all the welding done on on here. And that way, when I wrap or line it, I'm not burning it back off when I weld something on the other side. So, this is my my next step is to get this marked out, and I'll probably just attach it with some self tappers once I drill the holes. And then I gotta mark where that mounting tab goes on the firewall because once the tubs back out I can uh, install that and mount it in the right place and then I've got one over on the other side that I've got to put in also it goes down actually on that upper floor pan so we'll see how that goes here I put the uh, body mount bracket back in after I drilled holes through the pan or through the uh, tub and then right now I've got some self tappers coming up from through the tub just temporarily holding it in place you see up underneath the uh, oil tub here I've got a number of holes drilled for welding and once I weld those vacant holes up, I'll back the self-tappers out and weld those holes up also. So that's going to locate everything just exactly where I need it until I can get it welded. 
and I'm going to be able to lift it out of there to do the welding and not uh, have to be up underneath this wheel tub doing it. So now I got to do the same thing over there on that side. Here I've got the uh, passenger side engine mount or uh, body mount bracket in place. Um, same process I did on the other side. I got a couple of tick screws coming through after I drilled out all the holes for the plug welds. Got another tick screw through the small tab down there. Kind of dark. And then I thought I was going to have to wait until I got the tub out to do the uh, last remainder, but I just did it the same way as I did the others, but I put the battery tray in place and put a couple of half inch bolts as a locator and clamped it from the underside when I had it level. It's level to the wheel tub now, so um, it'll look nice up under there. And then I self tapped that also for now. Same thing as the other side, I've got a few self tappers holding it in place. I'll weld up all the vacant holes and then I'll back out those self tappers and weld those holes up too. So it'll make uh, nice plug welds. Um, I can do all that with the tub out of the truck where it's easy to get to and easy to grind smooth and, and that sort of thing. I think I'm going to call it a night.